All right, we're going to do a multi-camera sync with audio. And what I mean by this is you can see here I've got two video clips and the guy holding his hand ready to clap. And what we also did is we recorded separate audio. So if we go over to my project folder, you can see we've got audio on its own, camera one and camera two. So this is often common for interviews or even filmmaking, that kind of stuff, where you'll set up multiple cameras to film the same sequence and you want to cut back and forth between the two. Well, everything's going to need to be in sync. Good bit of advice is use a clapboard. That's what those are for. And or if you don't have a clapboard, just have whoever's on screen clap their hands. So if you want to sync them, you need to go to each file. So I've already marked mine so I know which ones I want to sync. And I am control clicking on my keyboard. So now I've control clicked so you can see that they're all selected. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go create multi camera source sequence. So when it comes to naming, you can use a custom name if you want, or you can use the video clip names and amend it if you want, or you can just go this and it'll just pick the video clip and leave it at that. I'm going to change mine, so I'm going to call this take three, because I know that's take, oops, because I know that's take three. Synchronization points. So this is giving it options of like, where do you want it to sync? Do you want it to sync on the in, the out? Do you have a time code that you used when recording this and you want to sync it on the time code, um, a sound time code, or in my case, I'm going to go audio. And this is basically going to tell it to listen to the audio and sync it up. So even if I don't have the clapping, Premiere Pro is pretty good about hearing the audio from the camera and the audio from the separate microphone and syncing those. But I would always recommend doing a clap or a clapper board. So that's what these are. I'm going to sync it based on audio. I'm going to leave my track channel to check track channel one. My sequence presets, these are if you're using different camera types, as you can see here. I'm just going to leave it to automatic. I've never once adjusted this. Audio offset. Now this can be if you the audio is slightly out of sync. So maybe the microphone was much farther away from the camera microphone and so there's a bit of a delay between the two uh, that kind of thing or maybe it has to do with uh, the the record speed that kind of stuff move source clips to to process clip bin so what this is saying is when i select all three of these what it's actually going to do is it's going to move them out of these folders and it's going to create a separate folder that'll put them all into that is handy if you're moving, if you're using a lot of different files and you want to make sure that once it's synced, you don't need it anymore, right? So you can throw it into that separate bin and that way you know that's all your synced ones and everything still in the folders is the unsynced. I'm going to leave that unchecked though. I'm just going to, for the purpose of this tutorial, but usually I will do that. Now, sequence settings, this is kind of an important one. So you're going to have three options here. Your camera one, is basically saying in the editing sequence, we're gonna use the audio from camera one and it's gonna mute the audio from the other ones. All cameras is gonna give you all of those and then switch audio is gonna give you an option of switching back and forth. So basically when, let's say I'm switching from this to this, it's gonna actually switch the audio so that that way the audio will be playing from here or here. And I'll show you what I mean with these in just a second. So I'm just going to choose camera one to start off with. And camera names, I'm just going to leave that blank. So hit OK. There we go. Now I've got that take. I'm just going to drag it on my timeline. And you can see this is, it's just showing one audio track because we told it audio one. And that's the one that it's going to use for the editing. If you double click in it, it'll actually take you to each of those tracks. So you can see what it did here is it's got my audio track, which is the one that it's using, the main track, the main audio microphone. And then it's got muted the audio for both of the cameras, but it does give you the option of unmuting and you can change it if you need to. Okay, let's delete this real quick. And I'm gonna show you the other option. Okay, now let's look at all cameras. 
These are generally the two I use. I never use switch audio because it's going to sound different depending on which camera it's coming from. And so it would really be noticeable on screen, but maybe there's a reason you would need to do that. Okay. And I'm going to hit okay. And it's doing the same thing. I'm going to drag it onto my timeline, but notice what it did now is it put all of the audio files on my main timeline so that that way, if I want, I can cut bits out. I can easier move back and forth, but they are all on. So you would need to then mute any ones that you don't want. So those are going to be the two options that I normally use, depending on what I'm doing with my edits. That's audio. Now to the video, if I double click on it, it's now bringing up this in the main preview window over here in the program window, it's showing us which one is selected. So you can see it's black screen, black screen. If I click on this, it's going to move over. So that's, what's going to be playing. So now let's mute all of these because we don't need to hear it. So if I start playing, we've got the clap and you can see the clap marks and then we're going to get into the dialogue. Okay. So normally I would cut that beginning out, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we don't need that. Okay. So it's, he's starting to talk. He did his clap. We see everything that's going on on screen. Now let's say right here, I want to now switch to the other camera. So if I double click, it'll pull it up where it is in there. So now you can see this is camera B. We'll call this camera A. If I want to switch to the other camera, I can cut it. And then if I double click on it and I'll click it over here and now we're in there. So now it's going with that camera and it's jumping over to the other camera. Let's say I want to cut it again and jump back to that camera. Now you can see, and that's the basics of syncing multiple cameras and editing audio. Uh, there's still some more advanced stuff that you can do as always with Premiere Pro, but, um, that's the, the quick and dirty of it. As always, hope you found that useful.